There is a lot to unpack with the season one finale of Loki, and I have a theory of why that show was created. The whole show is an homage to Marvel as a whole. Before the MCU was created, there was chaos. There was no timeline of anything, we had multiple Spider-Man shows, the X-Men were being rebooted constantly, there were different Avengers cartoon shows, there was a Daredevil show and a Daredevil movie that weren't connected at all, Captain Marvel was a man, Superhero Squad was a thing, and Blade was killing all these vampires. Nothing made sense if you wanted one singular storyline. But then, out of nowhere, the MCU was born, and that became the Sacred Timeline, where all movies and shows in it are connected, and everything else wasn't considered canon. Which is good for linear storytelling, because if you look over at DC, we don't even know what Justice League movie the sequels will follow. So Marvel created Loki, whose job was to make sense of all the uncanny chaos, and eliminate all the previous non-MCU movies and shows, and most importantly, bring in all the other characters in different multiverses into this one. I love my theory, but I hate the show. I'm not going to give a full synopsis, but I'm just going to shout out a few moments that stuck out to me. My biggest hang-up was with Loki. I don't think a guy that just lost a war can be wooed to the light side by seeing a montage of his future. I thought Loki seeing himself being killed by Thanos would just throw him into a huge rage. I thought he'd toss the table and shout, Who does he think he is? I am a god! I will have my revenge! But he just sat down, watched the movie, and became a better person in a matter of minutes? I'm not shocked by the lazy writing. I mean, the director said the goal of the show was to show Loki as being bisexual. I thought the goal of being a director was to create a solid piece of entertainment, and the byline was barely half a second. And I first saw it as Loki not wanting to give out personal information to a woman who was constantly trying to kill him. And then after he said he might like princes, he spent the entire show trying to hook up with the blonde Loki. So much for breaking down barriers, Disney. The show is confusing, the pacing is terrible, the only bright spots were Owen Wilson and Gugu Mabata Raw. Yeah, try saying that three times fast. But they were awesome. They were solid characters, they had logical storylines to them, and I generally enjoyed watching those two on screen together. They were actually my favorite parts of the show were those two. But now to the ending. They did their best. The writers had to cram a logical and concise reason for the events of the show to take place, and they failed miserably. Because if you are the Keeper of Time, and you were the only thing stopping the complete and utter destruction of everything, why would you remotely take a chance on the Lokis being in control? Especially since one of them has been hell-bent on killing you for her entire life. And worst of all, you know everything that's gonna happen. And you said you tried a million different outcomes, and this was the best idea? Really? You're telling me that Gugu Machaba Raw was a bad choice to run time? The woman who lived, breathed, and killed others in the name of the TVA? But let's push her aside and take a chance on the ultimate betrayer and his lovable sadistic friend. Sadly, this show is going to set up for the next few phases of the MCU, and boy what a ride that's going to be. So far, we got a pretty interesting WandaVision, a race bait and clusterfuck of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Let me just take a first second to talk about that show, okay? Let's talk about the scene when Falcon's sister failed to get a loan, and she was blaming race as the reason why she didn't get the loan. First of all, lady, you're a failing business. You're not making any money. And worst of all, you left the fish in the back seat of your truck in the southern heat outside. You're a terrible business owner, and you're not going to get a loan that way. And you're blaming race as the reason why you're not getting a loan. 
Good job, Disney. And now back to Loki, where every plot point could be completely unraveled by asking why. And now Loki has this bevy of ultimate superpowers where he has this super te telekinetic abilities to do anything, and he could just bring in weapons from out of nowhere. I never knew Loki could do any of this. I think he gives off some ridiculous passable of an explanation in the second episode, but I always thought that he had the knife on him and then somehow was able to manipulate it so you couldn't see it, but then bam, I have a knife. Now all of a sudden he could just summon all these things at will and has these ridiculous power beams he's able to shoot out at, at, out of nowhere. And after Loki gets back to the TVA, no one knows who he is. All memory of him has been erased, and now the statues are of Kang the Conqueror. I, I, I don't get it. Why? Why? Why did everyone forget who he is? So now Loki and Sylvia are the only ones that remember everything that happened. That Kang somehow came in and destroyed everything. I, like, it doesn't make any sense. It's creating new branches of time that you just. If you think about it for longer than a second, it loses itself. And I want to give the multi-trillion dollar company of Disney the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe this is all part of a plan, though. Maybe they want it to be confusing as possible, just so, like I said before, they could eradicate all the timelines, bring the X-Men into the MCU, bring Blade into the MCU, the Fantastic Four and others, and just say, okay, everything else other than this point is utterly gone and destroyed. That's that's what I think. I again, I just watched this show yesterday. I have no idea where it's gonna go. I heard that Loki's gonna be in Doctor Strange two for some reason, even though at the end of Loki it said he'll return for season two. So is is that a lie? Is it just a a bullcrap theory? I I don't know. Okay, the first couple phases leading up into Endgame made sense. All the movies at least had a reason for happening. Now. Everything is just falling apart. Black Widow was created just to bring her sister into it. I don't I don't know what's going on. I'm a huge Marvel fan, but I really see this series going downhill and utterly being rebooted soon after because they cannot continue going this way. But hey, maybe I'm overthinking it. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys agree with me. Maybe you guys have your own theories. Just send me a comment and let's start talking about this.